Now looking at our post-budget analysis after yesterday's presentation by the finance minister. Well, an energy analyst, Kwejo Poku, has indicated the suspension of the signing of more power purchase agreements is in the right direction. But government needs to make sure demand does not outstrip supply in the near future. Government has placed a complete moratorium on the signing of new power purchase agreements. Now, this is expected to reduce the burden of the excess capacity challenges in the energy sector. In line with the decision taken in July mid-year, as formally instructed sector ministry department and agencies as follows, to suspend all ongoing negotiations on PPAs and GSAs, energy, gas, and purchase agreements, or any other long-term take-or-pay contracts for power or gas until further notice. The government has placed a complete moratorium on the signing of new PPAs, GSAs, and put-call option agreements, and hereby instructs ECG, GMPC, GNGC, and VRA to abstain from entering into any new PPAs, GSAs, LNG, SPAs, long-term take or pay contracts and POs there until discussions with Ministry of Energy and Ministry of Finance. An energy analyst, Kojopoku, is of the view government has to monitor the situation closely to ensure sustainable supply of power. Between now and the next five years, I think in terms of signed PPAs and what has come on, we are good. The only problem is that we've put a moratorium on it now, but we need to keep our eye on the processes. There should be a monitoring team that will be looking at our demand as compared to the supply. So at the time when we feel there's a need to engage more IPPs to come on board, we do it at the right time. He noted the country stands to benefit hugely from car power becoming the main off-taker of Sankofa gas from the Western Enclave. The gas is cheaper being it for uh, production of electricity as compared to HFO, which otherwise we would have to import and pay more for electricity bill. So in the future, we'll realize that it would reflect and it should reflect in the prices that we pay as a nation towards electricity. Minister of Finance Ken Ofuriata also disclosed that ECG will still have a private firm to partner it after the termination of the PDS deal. 